This is a HeadGum Podcast. Your glossary and shove it. Put it on your fucking website where you mark down our bits, because that's a good one! <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what a good bit is! I'll tell you what a good bit is. Guys, welcome to Dynamic Banter. Um, I'm, you know what? Can I be honest with you, Mike? Please. I missed it. <laughs> just this week? Just this week, yeah. There is just the slightest. Is it okay bit of if gear. I missed just this week? Am I in your way over here? No, no, it looks great. I just wanted to peek a peek a look at it. No, go ahead and peek at you, peek at us. There are um, there are those people who like you can tell what kind of person they are when they're on TV, and uh, or like in a video or something. And there's a monitor off camera where you can see yourself. <laughs> Like the people who can't ignore the people who things. cannot stop looking at themselves. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> that's the one. You know when you, <laughs> that was the good. when you know your face. When you know, like your perfect face. Yeah, yeah. In pictures. Yeah. And anytime you see a camera, you look at the camera like that. Yeah, yeah. Like oh, I always smile like down towards my pocket. Yeah. You know what I mean. <laughs> I like when you go through someone's Instagram and it's the same face. It 7, is. Times. It is. Yeah. Who has what? Which one of our friends has that? Um, I think I have it like a tiny bit, but I do so much stuff. Like there, you will find many images of me making the same face. You used um, to have like a half worried face or something. No, what was it? It was during. It was source fed, Steve. Yeah, it was it- something like that. <laughs> At some point, you saw a picture of yourself like that, and you were like, I look pretty good. You know why? Because that's how I felt all the time (laughs) on the inside. (laughs) Terrified of fucking everything. Something's about to be over. Those were my days, dude. Those were my days where I was the most anxious piece of shit on the planet. Like, you could... I I don't know if I've said this publicly, maybe I have, but you could watch old SourceFed videos, like, my very from my very first one to, like, the last ones... And you can see that's all <laughs> the progression. Those are the only ones that exist. You can see the progression of a man who was going through the worst anxiety, depression problems at the peak of any of that in my life, all the way to me like getting on medication and then normalizing and then being fucking a okay. That's nice. That'd yeah, but you can you... see a very scared man for a very long time. Could you look at your like um, your doctor's records or your prescription and see the date and match it up with a specific? You know video? what? No, but I can tell you this: when I went to Florida with my ex-wife, I went to Disney World. Humble brag. And you can look back through my Instagram to find out when around what time that was. Um. That is when I first started taking Prozac. Oh. Yes. It was then, but it didn't even work. And I was like, dude, that trip was the worst. I've talked about it a million times. I had like panic attacks all over the place. And then Sarah got like super sick and she was puking everywhere. And it was like the worst nightmare for me. Oh, no. Um, That's why I hate Disney World. That's why I hate Disney World to this day. Yeah. Uh, No, I love Disney World, but I only go alone now. Yeah. (laughs) even kidding the way walt intended the only times i get to go to disney world is when i get invited to playlist in orlando mm. and then i get a i get like basically a free trip to disney world yeah but no one wants to go with me did me and you go on crusty land together we went to universal yeah yeah but that was in florida right is that me that might yeah, be yeah that was you i'm sorry this i meant to shut off you know this too will pass this i meant to shut off. this too will off i meant to be silence <laughs> onto this i want to write a book called this too will off and it's about silencing your phones in like inappropriate situations yeah or or more appropriate situations right or a book about eyes these two will open or a book of muirman <laughs> um anyway but yeah so that's around the time when the prozac when i first started taking prozac and then it would it would end up kicking in Pretty soon after that, but not right away. Uh And then it's just like a totally different person, I think. I think. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I I was a consummate professional and I didn't didn't allude to it. All this time. No, we didn't. In the periphery. Yeah, no. Yeah. Um, 
But yeah, we've already talked about that, so fuck off. <laughs> Anyway, Mike, Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas on to you. I have a gift for you. No, you don't. And Shut I got, up. I got you a gift, but I need to say something first. God damn it, Mike. I also got you a gift, but I don't have it wrapped, and it's at home. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's where it was. <laughs> wow. That would have... I love the look on your face while you were doing that. It was almost like your therapist told you... This is this what you got to do to gonna, be happy. Yeah, this is what's going to fix you up. Um... Oh. <laughs> Holy God. Holy God. Is this fucking was that ever clear? Uh Merry Christmas, Mike. I got I have a gift for you too, man. I wish you had said this was gonna be the gift giving episode. I looked at the calendar and there's not Oh, there's another not another one. one. Oh no, fuck. So this is it. But I need I to tell know. you something about You know what I can what do? I, I can tell Alana to run home and grab it right now. Don't don't give her chores. Yeah. Let her live her life. She has to go home tomorrow. Could you please This is Steve's inner thoughts for the we might love of <laughs> Christ. I love you. Please. I'm asking. These are all separate texts. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six texts. Alana, could you please, for the love of Christ, I love you, please. I'm asking. I'm asking you. Please. Could you. That's a, its own text. Go home and grab Mike's. And present. I, lo I love you. <laughs> like super fast. And then bring this is necessary. it into the podcast room. She's going to be so worried. Please, for the first Alana. Text. I'm asking. <laughs> Wait, she's typing. Are you speaking like a, a cast member in Willow? Hang on. She's, asking. Asking. she's typing. I see the three little dots on the bubble, oh, the little gosh. talk bubble thing. She's like, this is over. I ask you, while she's still typing. I ask you this. Oh, she sent me a. <laughs> she sent me a gif <laughs> of Tessa Thompson. Who's that? Like smiling. <laughs> 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 okay. Wait, wait! I'm saying. I have to look up wait, who Tessa Thompson. What? Is. W. Oh, she says, "Of course, of course," she says. Oh, that's very nice. Tessa Thompson is a beautiful woman. Okay. And then I texted to her, I love you such. I love you such. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I'll show you with my hands. I want to start a new way to say I love you so much to someone. I love you such. I love you like, I've loved some this much, but I love you such. <laughs> <laughs> I think it could stick. Dude, that's like, that would be in a slow country song. Yeah. I love you such. The James Taylor version of Silent Night? What is this? It's it's a royalty free Christmas song. We have no idea which song it is. And it sounds like we're at the end of a movie where the guy learned his lesson and yeah. he's talking to the to his friends. Mm -hmm. And it just seems like every day can't you can't be at your worst every day to well, be at your best sometimes. Well, that's my story. <laughs> <laughs> I do hope you liked it. All right, um, that's my story with the music ending. Was, was it was perfect? It was I, you terrific. couldn't have planned that. I didn't plan that. Yeah. I don't plan anything no, for this. this is nice. that's There's no I plans planned. for this. No, clearly. <laughs> um. Merry Christmas to you, Mike. Merry Don't Christmas. give me the gift yet. Well, that ruins Because that now anything. Alana's going to bring it for sure because she's a sweetheart. <laughs> I have something else we could do. Okay, let's hear it. I've been trying to figure out how to approach you about uh -oh. this for a long uh -oh. time. Oh, no. Um, but this, my only way is to ask. Oh, Just God. Ask. Why are you doing this here? I have prepared. Is this a big deal? It's not a big deal to anyone but me. To me, it's a humongous deal. Don't do big deals for me right now. I can't. Christmas has taken up all my big deals dude <laughs> i only have little deals left dude be, well black friday took all my big deals i'm writing a book called the art of the real deal <laughs> i call it a deal <laughs> the deal d-e-e-d-e-e-l -E -E holy shit man um all right fine i'm ready what is i this? want i have you prepared three jokes as my audition tape for your world today. Oh, you want to audition for your world today? I've prepared three jokes. The Valley Folk show? 
about that's like basically the closest thing to source fed but it's more fun i miss doing white walls for me yeah and i'm not gonna do them on my channel no don't because do i don't think it works in yeah. today's climate yeah but i want to do it on your <laughs> channel <laughs> Dude, I, well, I appreciate your honesty. Can I say uh, something about about um, <laughs> when did I become this guy? I love it. If um, it's a, hey man, if you can grab it, touch if it. If the bulb fits, that's my motto. If you can grab it, touch <laughs> yeah, it. I've gotten you in trouble for a long time. It has, but I've gotten away with it. <laughs> I'm still here. I grew up in a different time. I've paid off all the men that uh, <laughs> <laughs> harassed. Uh, the uh, the S in Zaragoza stands for settlement. Um, I don't even remember what we were talking about. We were talking about um, oh, doing the white walls. Do you doing remember? White walls, yes. That there was a time. Hang on, there's a Target commercial playing. <laughs> <laughs> Come to Target this weekend where we've got a bunch of stuff for you to wipe your dirty ass <laughs> with for sale. Bleach is a thousand percent off. We've got toilet paper for you to wipe your dirty ass with. And also, this week only, we've got seven-ply toilet paper that, you guessed it, you can use to wipe your dirty ass. Wipe your ass. Come to Target with your dirty ass. <laughs> in fact, come on in before you wipe your dirty ass and buy some toilet paper for your dirty ass. <laughs> Bring your dirty ass into Target. Walk down the aisles with your dirty ass. Get one of our, <laughs> Get one of our brushed metal couch covers. Holy balls. Have a fucking great Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you clean up that dirty ass. <laughs> this week only at Target, you dirty shit. <laughs> Come get your ass clean for Christmas at Target. We've got the best way to wipe up your dirty ass. <laughs> Dude, Target is 175,000 ways <laughs> to clean your ass. What if Target just put that commercial out? That's good. No, dude, That's I so think honest and it, good. Would, it would blow Target up to a level of... It's a game changer. Dude, like no joke. <laughs> no joke. It would be a game changer. Yeah. It would... I'm trying to think if it would actually be detrimental to their business. No. Because I think they would suddenly become... A very hip and cool place <laughs> without trying hard to be hip or cool. Yeah. You would instantly move to cool status. Yeah. And then everyone's following the Target Twitter account. Everyone. And ev we got it. We need more of this dirty app. Not, Hashtag dirty app. Not only that, if Target has a YouTube channel, which if they don't, morons. <laughs> if they put that commercial up as a YouTube video. Yeah. That is on Target's official YouTube channel. Yeah, dude, come on, that's a vi that's how you make a viral video. Let's just, dude, let's Honestly, just make it. I'm not even. We kidding. just made it. I'll like, put footage over what we just said, and we'll make Target a billion dollars. I'm serious. And then we'll both get if that video, dude. <laughs> let's. Do I know. Isn't it right exciting? Let's it feels good right now. I'm telling you, Mike. If we, if you and I. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you and I yeah. could be dressed exactly the way we're dressed right now. As we are. I can get a meeting set up. Yeah. <laughs> we bring that. With Target. That's I can get us a meeting with Target. I got a proof of concept. I'm I'm sure you could get concept. us a meeting with Target. Not necessarily. We could both, honestly, with our where our positions are. We're verified on Twitter. We can get a meeting with somebody in marketing at Target. They tell you that the day you get verified on Twitter. They, they send you an email. Anyone with one of these can get a meeting. Can with get Target. a meeting with Target. I don't know if you want it. It's there. Should you come up with a perfect ad campaign on a podcast hey, one day? Put it on a shelf. Yeah. Just think about it. <laughs> so I'm saying. Listen, if, I'm saying, Mike. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm saying we could go to an executive meeting yeah. with like <laughs> Target fucking promotions or the the whatever the, the the TEO of Target the TEO of Target and be like we ha we have been in viral videos we have been a part of companies that have uh, achieved viral videos yeah. quote unquote that's whatever what you want to fucking call a viral video that's anymore. what it says on our EPK 
to to validate what we are, it says we have been. Yeah. And then all of our social stats. And I'm serious. Still dress the way we are. Yeah. Oh, I'm not changing for Target, dude. And I'm wearing this for this meeting. Yeah. As you and said. I'm standing like this. I'm. I've got my hands. <laughs> You're doing like, the Kanye. I'm hands. doing the Kanye hands. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, this is what I say. I can guarantee you. <laughs> A viral video. Uh-huh. Now listen, whether you want to take this or not, but I'm telling you with the expertise that I have, with the stuff that you and I have been a part of, yeah, we we are guaranteeing you a viral video. Mm-hmm. And then they're like, they start to drool in their chops. And they Hell start yeah. rubbing their hands. Drooling like, on their suits. Mark looks at Julie and they, they know they've been working for fucking years on some kind of viral thing. Yeah. They've, they've got a team. They they set up a choreographed dance video. Dude, they Didn't work. they have so many concepts for some kind of like, you know, Target. There was some meeting at Target where they were like, all we need is like a viral video and then we'll get the millennials. Yeah. And there's been meetings and meetings and meetings and like nobody has thought of this idea. Uh huh. And so we'd sit there with them and so they looked at each other and they were like, Fuck, this is what we wanted. This is what we want. We want a viral video. We've been trying for years. And these gentlemen dress the way they are, <laughs> presenting themselves the way they are. Yeah. I do believe, like, what I'm trying to say is, what I'm trying to sum up here, Mike, is that we can definitely fool Target mm. into thinking we will give them a viral video. I don't think it's fooling. Are you kidding me? I don't think it's fooling around. You don't think, oh, well, listen, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. But I, let's talk about the logistics here, okay. because now, because listen, we were on the cloud, we were sailing high, we had the most beautiful breeze going in our <laughs> beards, because this idea feels like a highfalutin <laughs> mamma mia sayonara. Are you talking yourself out of the no, idea no, in no, real I'm not. time? No, I'm not, sir, but I'm going to tell you some logistical pieces of information that we need to be aware of. Let's go. Number one. Yeah. Target. Yeah. The brand. Yeah. Heard of it is mostly seen as a Midwest mom's conservative... The Turgot lady. The Turgot lady, kind of right-leaning... I didn't know any American of establishment. Okay, sure. Not so much as like a Walmart in yeah. it by any means, uh-huh. but Target is... Target is a... Is a Target is, a, an, is an enigma. Does Target because, have a mission statement, you think? Yeah. Eat here. Eat here fresh. Eat here first. <laughs> then go somewhere else to eat. <laughs> what if we came up with a restaurant that's like just a just a uh, appetizers? Apps, yeah, apps and, <laughs> and fixings. It's, it's called apps. That's hilarious. Hey, eat here. <laughs> and then the slogan is first. eat here first. <laughs> Dude, what if we... <laughs> Listen, Mike, we've got two good pitches now. We could go on Shark Tank and be like, we open up next to every major restaurant. (laughs) We need money to open 7 million locations. I'm telling you, you put us next door to any restaurant. Yeah. Bannigan's. Sheila's. By the way, let me me tell you this. I'm closing my laptop for this because I think this is a great idea. Yeah, you don't want the government listening to this idea. Listen, listen to me. How many times have you gone to a restaurant and you're fucking starving? Have one of these. The adults are talking. How many times have you gone to a restaurant with your lady love or your boy blue or whoever, your family? Any number of people you could like to eat with. And you're starving. You're so fucking hungry. You're looking at the menu and you're like, holy shit, I'm going to order so much shit. And then you look, you're like, but I just want something that's not going to fucking fill me up before the main meal. Right. (laughs) Yeah. And so you're like looking through the appetizers and you're like, these are trash. (laughs) Honestly, I'm serious. How many restaurants? Not even that. Because that would be, well. Jalapeno poppers are trash. Jalapeno poppers are trash. But let me let me say this. I'm serious about this. Uh-huh. I've been to so many restaurants where I'm like, this entree is what I'm getting. And then there's a group of people, and I'm like, but let's share some appetizer or something. We're all hungry, boy. Because <laughs> no women are eating with me <laughs> at, at any boys. restaurant. Yeah. 
No woman will be seen with me in a restaurant. Not the way you eat. <clears throat> and so, I'm telling you, <laughs> hey Georgie, you want to cool it with the sax? Oh, okay. Well, there comes the drums and the bass. Great. They moved all their stuff in here before we even saw it. Well, it is. It's Christmas. And it is Christmas. It is. Did you know that during Christmas, any room, any three quarters of a room has to be has to go. To, to a jazz, jazz band practicing trio. Christmas yeah, yeah. music during yeah. the holidays. Those are the rules. Those are the rules. <laughs> and all <laughs> instruments are silent until you turn them on. Absolutely. Mike, I've been to so many restaurants where I look at the appetizers and I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me, man. Yeah. This is trash. Like, do you, you know what I'm talking about, dude. You've been in this situation. I don't understand the problem you're trying to solve. The right problem? I Listen, was first of all, while hold on. on. I'm trying, I'm gonna bring you back. Oh, I'm gonna bring you back. <laughs> How many times have you been to a restaurant, dude, where you're looking at the appetizers and they all suck? Seriously. I, I can normally find something. No, no. But no, no. I, I, appetizers I've been in this situation. Okay, sure. There's like pretzels. What do you like? Tell me what you like for appetizers. Listen, yeah. I like a, I like a little bit of variety. They say it's the kiss of life. <laughs> Who says that? <laughs> Who's they? <laughs> name one of they. Sir Patrick Stewart says that. <laughs> Dude, have you ever been to a... Uh, Sir Patrick Stewart's? To the Patrick steakhouse? Stewart's? <laughs> <laughs> Sir Patrick Morton's? Wait, Sir Patrick Stewart's would be an Irish pub. Yeah, like Tilted Kilt. Yeah. yeah. Come to Sir Patrick's. Shit. Come to Sir... I think it would just be called Sir Patrick's. Sir Patrick's is nice. Come to Sir Patrick's. We'll give you food. <laughs> oh, so yes, great. you'll be filled. We'll fill you. We'll fill you. Oh, we'll fill you. <laughs> That's the, the uh, ooh, the logo is in handwriting. Ooh, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> we'll fill you, <laughs> exclamation mark. <laughs> There's a sex dungeon in the back. We'll fill you right up. Ooh, we'll fill you. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Can you write in? We can you write that you. little that creepy giggle on the on the sign? <laughs> Were we done with one idea? Oh no! Oh, well, now it's different. Now everything is different. It's just on the back. Yeah, there's seven buttons back here, buddy. The record. Great, dude. This sax is <laughs> is picking up the slack for this whole podcast. Picking right up the now. sax. Picking up the slack. <clears throat> Listen to me. Okay, now I got a new product. They're slacks that are saxophone <laughs> pants. And each time you slide a leg in, it goes... <laughs> Just when you're putting them on or taking them off. When you take them off, <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that's good. They'll never make the sound again. That sets the mood, man. If you're getting right with a... Can with you a imagine? Mate, and you slide somebody's pants off and it goes... Yeah, it play, it'll play like 12, any 12 riffs. It's like a player piano for your yeah. legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's really good. Yeah. Anyway, I'm sorry. Sorry, we got so many ideas here. Uh, I texted No, Elliot. I'm not done! Okay, well, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry, sorry. No, sorry. I texted Elliot. Okay. And uh, He'll pop in. I didn't text Joe. I feel like one of the other Valley folks should be here for my audition. Oh, great. Okay, so that, yes. Okay, great. So you want... I prepared so many things for today's podcast, and we haven't been able to do any of them. Yeah, we got to do our ads soon. We'll just make it a longer Let's do the ads one. Listen, now. we just miss each other. I miss you, Mike. I miss you too, man. Um, Listen, I'm not done with this first idea. And then we... we dude, we have to go back. To Target. wipe your dirty ass at Target. <laughs> I'm going to read the mission statement at Target. Okay, let's hear it. Really. Because it's important Dude, to... Dude, I'm telling you, though, yeah. these appetizer restaurants, they're going to be big hits. <laughs> I still don't understand the problem. The problem is, is that you go to a restaurant, the appetizers suck, and you're like, all right, let's put in our entree order. Uh -huh. And what does that take? Sometimes 15 minutes to get your fucking entree? 20? 15 is pretty good, I think. Okay, 30. Yeah, sure. 30 to 45, you're waiting for your meal. Yeah. Within that buffer of 30 to 45 minutes, you go next door. You leave the building. Yeah, just right next door. Okay, yeah. What's it called? 
uh, what do we call it? Apps. apps. I like apps and fixins, but well, apps is good. Apps it's flows a little nicer. <laughs> we go in. <laughs> we want to make it easy for kids to say because we're getting them too. Yeah, sure. Daddy, I want apps. Daddy, get me apps. Put your goddamn phone down. Put daddy's phone down. No, I want apps, Daddy. <laughs> All right. It's easy for kids to scream at their parents. <laughs> We'll embed it in their brains because the commercials will be on while they're watching cartoons. Uh, cartoon, goddamn spokesperson. All right, and the vo- yeah, the voice of your favorite cartoons gonna tell you about apps. We'll get the guy who does Sponge, but Robert. <laughs> Sponge Robert. Sponge Rob. Dude. Sax pants. <laughs> so within those forty-five minutes, you go into apps. <laughs> Sponge Rob's. <laughs> Did you say sex pants? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sex pants. <laughs> 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 okay, listen. Oh. Oh. And at apps, Mike, you have so many appetizers, you won't even know what to do. Like a, a Bloomin Onion factory menu. Yeah, of yes, apps. even more. Yeah. Bloomin' Onions, we got spinach and artichoke, artichoke dips, we got mozzarella sticks. Every food in stick form. Every kind of loaded up French fry you can think of. Mm, all different types of nachos. Oh, and I am telling you the coutremol. The condiments will blow your goddamn mind. I'm talking mayo, mustard, and ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. Nothing else. Dude, and welcome, Elliot. Oh, have get in seat. here. And... Uh, it Pull would up have, a chair, will you? You know those restaurants where you can go get your own salsa? Yes. And oh, it'll pickles have a, and shit? It'll have the world's yeah, largest yeah, yeah. sauce bar. Yeah, I dare you not to sneeze on this open. Dude, the world's first and largest sauce bar. I'm talking yeah. BBQ, Sriracha. Oh, shit. Hot, mild, cold, sweet, stubborn, <laughs> sexy, any kind you want. Dude, if I walked into a You want some sexy place? sauce? <laughs> yes or no? If I walked it's into an a easy place question. and they had a thousand um, uh, barbecue sauces. Oh, yeah, dude. That's having I mean, heart. come on. Yeah. I'm telling you, dude, apps is a good idea. Yeah. I'm going to pitch it to Elliot in a second. But then we got to talk about Target and stuff, too. But, dude, I'm telling you. I'm. Uh, let me just sum up what that story was. Yeah. I guarantee to you. Hang on. I have to stop the podcast for 1.3 seconds. Hold on. Whose grandfather died in that shirt? It's Terry Cloth. Fuck it. Thanks for having me, guys. What Thanks for being there. here, Elliot. Elliot, do you know uh, why you're here? No, I don't know. Uh, because of my, um, are we recording? Yes. Yes. Uh, is Actually, I can't hear myself in these. Okay, so I don't let's know try this. Uh, Can you hear it now? Te- no, I can't hear anything now. Is there a horn by your oh, feet? Oh, lovely, lovely. I can't quite hear myself, but I can hear Mike. And that's really cool. Can there you hear is me? A horn can down you hear there. me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. Nice. How about you? Are you feeling uh, good? If I could be a little louder, it'd be cool. But I don't want to waste any time of your time. That's about nice. That? Yeah. Okay. Turn Elliot's volume to overpowering. I um, have heard reports that your mic seems louder, which I think is funny. Recently, Elliot's been on the on the Discord. Valley Cast. Yeah, you t- you you hang out on the Discord. Literal, Steve's mic is too loud. Can't can't. And oh I, wow. I, okay. I All right. Well, I think it's an unconscious. Hey, I'll desire take I'll for... take c- uh, constructive criticism. <laughs> Look at that grand <laughs> opening. I what? Did you? S- <laughs> I've had a I've had a mortar. Did you snowboard here? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. Are you fourteen years old? I drank glass. I did had you, alcohol. Elliot, Elliot, and forgive me for asking. These are electrolytes no, to replenish my body. Did you? After a fun evening. Mountain with, bike? <laughs> dude, same, real joke, quick, same joke. Quick same question. joke, different quick recreational question, uh, activity. I have so many. Quick question. Did, did, what's, did, did mom forget to bring you cherry? <laughs> what the? F- you guys are weird. It's roasting me over what's Gatorade? Weird, what's weird is Gatorade that is for orange. children. Um, Gatorade is not Gatorade for children. Gatorade is for children. <laughs> Gatorade Absolutely is, not. Gatorade, Gatorade. Pedialyte Gatorade, like a goddamn adult. Gatorade is Pedialyte for teenagers. Yeah. It's Gatorade. It's for teenagers. What a weird I idea drink kombucha. I still can't uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, uh, I still can't hear my, uh, myself in this. Head, yeah, that's going to be too late. Uh, can, you can hear him really well, right? I can hear Elliot okay. really well. Do you just want your volume up or something? Yeah, just nice to hear it all the same level. Is that, yeah. How's that? That's way better. Thank you. Okay. Weird. You have a nice speaking voice, Elliot. Thank you. Wow. Wait. That's the first nice thing so far I've heard. Dumb shirt and why you drink that. I never said dumb shirt. I said Terry Clark. Yeah, I Sham didn't what say dumb this, shirt like, either. Are you guys the uh, the old Muppets? Is that kind of yeah, the, the, we're the gonna brand be. that you've you're said that becoming? before? Oh, we're really? Wal- Walder and Waldorf. Yeah, Walder and right. Waldorf. Listen, 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 guys. Talk about this in your marital home. <laughs> 
Um, I don't want to. Please use the cup holders. Please use the coasters. We don't want any rings on this disgusting table. <laughs> we don't want you to get any of your stream on this table. We don't want to get, get any of your children's drink on the table here. You know what, le- what electrolytes does? I've literally do. never heard that. It's for babies. And so here's the question for what you. What a dumb Wait, idea. Here, can That's I just so say stupid. this? What you're saying is so can stupid. Can I just say this? It's absolutely not stupid. <laughs> it's, it's so stupid. <laughs> at least it's funny. Mike's laughing. It's funny because Listen, it's one of those things that's it's like, funny because I can't believe it's, you got drink Gatorade. You guys are reaching. Gatorade's for children. Um, I don't so, think... You're a bunch of fucking morons. No adults drink. You're a fucking idiot. You drink. Know that? Uh, no adults drink this. Uh, Dude, so soccer let me, practice makes them <laughs> so fucking idiot. You're like <laughs> not even the sports. T- just they're, they're just sponsor. You're, they're this, just, is, this is the comedic equivalent of like a really desperate Gatorade guy at a is, bar. Gatorade is like, hey, you know, it's like, you know, it's Gatorade's like, a, it's like you're wrong. Gatorade it's is the drink. is the McDonald's of shit. the soft drink world. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> It's for children who like sugar. The McDonald's. It's for children who like sugar and their parents want them to have electrolytes. You call this. The McDonald's of you call this a soft drink? See again, you reach. It's fine. It's, it's a soft fine. drink. No, this is you a soft drink. You can keep riffing. You can keep riffing. Enjoy. Gatorade is a soft drink. You can't just say somebody's Not reaching and have it be true just <laughs> because you don't like. You it. know what's nice though? It's nice to be on it to, to watch you the poor quality. It's of nice your comedy. to have Mike. I think back you're me so up. funny, and I think that <laughs> it's so nice to just be like, no, nah, this isn't it. You know what is it? This isn't it, Chief. That's what you are right now. You stop the Christmas music with your. With I negativity. know what happened to the good cheer. You suck the Christmas. You know cheer what? We were having I'm a really a... Oh, nice yeah, episode yeah. until Elliot Morgan came in. Right. Just kidding. We asked you to come in. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's on, our guys? fault. But so here's the thing. I want to say this because I ha- was in the middle of a pitch to Mike. I'm j- all I'm saying is, and Elliot, you can weigh in on this. I would like you. To, I would love you to weigh in. On I'm this. ready. I mean, I'm... I can guarantee you that we can get into a meeting with Target's <laughs> marketing team. Based on our social influence alone. No, we can. Oh, absolutely we can. <laughs> no, we can. Are you out of your mind? No, we won't be able to. Dude, Did with Target's like social media team or something? Did you know that they let in anyone who's verified? Yeah, no. Dude, I, you're... I doubt it, but let's, let's hear your pitch. No, absolutely we let's can go... Let's say for the sake of the argument that we can. We can't, Listen, but let's hear for the sake of it. Can I tell you how I would do it and you can tell me mm-hmm. that I am wrong? Yes. I would reach out to Jeff Cohen, name drop, and say, Jeff... I have an idea for some, for a Target thing. Can you get me in the room with someone at Target? Mm-hmm. I guarantee to you Jeff Cohen can get me in a room at Target. Okay. Way to wave your Jeff Cohen around. I just had to show you how I'd do it and prove to you that really, I could. Really put your Jeff Cohen on it. So what's your pitch? What's the deal? The pitch is this. <laughs> <laughs> Twice as much Gatorade in the Gatorade. Listen to me. The commercial. It's just I don't find it's so hard to not this find is the you com- guys fine. This is the commercial. It's hard for me. It's a process. Elliot, Finding stop being so angry unfunny. about drinking your children's drink. <laughs> about trying to enjoy a children's drink. It's a it's a replenishing, okay, listen, flavorful, listen, electrolyte filled. You have no steak in Gatorade. Just relax. I'm from the University of Florida. <laughs> I literally have a steak in Gatorade. <laughs> Was Gatorade created in Florida? <laughs> Uh, do you just grab other people's fucking belongings? Do you know how many? You know sh- what? I don't like being a part of this right <laughs> now. Put, your, put my fucking belongings. Do you down, know you how piece many of shit? What are you doing? He do wants you, know you to put. Why are you grabbing sugar? my? He wants you to grab. He wants you to put down his belongings. <laughs> yes, please put down my belongings. Now, what's this? Please pick? ask permission before you pick up anybody's belongings. <laughs> Anybody that thing here that is not yours, please ask before you pick it up. And that's a general rule. Calling, and that goes for myself. I'm so Gatorade, sorry. For one the... of your belongings is the most homeless thing you've ever done. <laughs> There it is. Okay, that's a good one. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> that's so good. Call <laughs> hey, you leave my belongings alone! Don't touch my treasures, goddammit! There's seven Gatorade <laughs> bottles in here, sir. Those are bottles. my treasures! <laughs> Each one's a different spell, oh. and if I lose them, I'm fucked. I can't wait to go to Florida. <laughs> Which one's Jesus a Christ. Spell? I'm not trying to get stuck in your time. I'm living in a nightmare. <laughs> it's a funny joke, though, Mike. <laughs> I don't want to be here as much as you don't want me here. <laughs> the guy who has it all figured out. Okay, so here's the Target commercial. Are you ready? Here's what the pitch is, Elliot. And the audience is now hearing this twice. Uh, so thank you. Um, yeah, yeah. Thank I'm, you for I'm rising, the, raising the quality of this show mm-hmm. today. Um, I can go. <laughs> I don't want to be here. I like this a lot. I don't. I don't, you I don't need it. I don't we want it. You, I walked Elliot. in and hold immediately on, got a bunch of bullshit. On, hold on. We love you, Elliot. We're I know you fun. love me. We're having fun. Don't, We're making don't a living. Don't condescend me. Making Listen, fun with our friends. We're having fun with our friends. Steve is a hard Ooh. out. 
<laughs> I'm back and Ellie just got in. Okay, this is Alana waiting for the present thing. Just okay. hang on. Just hang on. Thank you. I can't wait for this. That pitch. camera's going to die. So this our um, production <laughs> quality is about to go down by 30%. <laughs> okay. I'll use this music. I like the Christmas <laughs> music a lot. Imagine a Target commercial. <laughs> The art audience is now hearing this a fourth time. <laughs> Hang on, I need to do this. I need to find the track. Where was it? Over here somewhere? S- here she is. Steven Spielberg okay. soundtrack. Here it is. Come to Target this weekend only for sale. We've got toilet paper for your dirty ass. Come on in. Aisle 14 is where we keep the toilet paper for you to clean your dirty ass. Come on in. <laughs> Kids, you're gonna get everything you need to clean your dirty little ass. Come on through the aisles with your dirty ass <laughs> over to the toilet paper section, and you can clean up your dirty ass <laughs> here at Target. <laughs> yeah. How, uh, yeah, how far into that. this podcast are you? How far? We're how about long? halfway through the pitch. <laughs> We're halfway through the pitch. If that helps. <sighs> oh my god! And I'm telling Elliot's you, this is what I'm saying to you, Elliot. I'm telling you that that piece of content. If it was shot like a real Target commercial and had like happy white really people with clean teeth yeah. <laughs> in the aisles, like fucking with their family and shit, like I'm talking high. It quality. would be a, a it would be a sensation. Yeah. It would be a viral it video would be, because what would happen is people would be watching it and they'd, everyone at home would go, "Yes, would, exactly." Did you hear what that Target? Had exactly, yeah. exactly, and it would put Target. It would make Target cool. Yeah. Without having to try to be cool. Best Super Bowl commercial. It ever. would honestly elevate their brand to a place where they don't need, but it would but imagine if Target fully had millennials. Dude, the day that comes out, the day that commercial comes out, Walmart is Oh, they're oh, they're done for. They're done for. There's one store. This is this is what this is how you elevate Target into the what is this, the twenty second century, the twenty first century? This is the twenty yeah. fifth century. This is how you elevate Target into this new echelon of like jaded poor poor don't buy things, angry not wanting a demo the, with money. wanting the truth type people. Yeah. And um I really do think if I got into a room with Target, I could guarantee them a viral <clears> video. <throat> Hmm. So and I don't think they'd do it. They totally wouldn't do it. I'm yeah. gonna read but the... someone at Target would be like, guys, what if we just tried this? You know what, what would if we happen? Just fucking tried yeah, I feel like that's the type of thing where you would pitch it and they'd be like, this is so funny. And then what would happen is they would be like, we're going to do it. And you'd be like, I can't believe we're going to go for it. And by the time the final product rolled around, it's it would literally like it. be like, yeah, it would be like, get your toilet paper or to you can clean wipe your poopy yourself. Butt. Yeah, yeah. Like it would be so sanitized. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But listen, I would Worth go. The shot, but my meeting to them would be like, if you use this this like piece of content that I shot as an example, if you use this to the T, this is what it is, and don't change any of the creative, you will have a viral video. I love it. Is that why I, I was? Yeah. Is that Thanks why for I'm coming here? in, Elliot. Okay, Merry <laughs> Christmas. You, no, 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 no. So, no, do no. you think we can get a meeting with Target? I've said my piece. Do, have you changed your mind oh, no, about no. the how I could get a meeting with Target? I absolutely have not. But you I, have not. Okay. No. Well, but then I now I do not feel a need to argue. Now it. I'm going to actually do it. That's what I want to say. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna do I'm it. I'm very. I'm gonna to hit see. up Jeff Cohen after the holidays and say I have an idea for Target. I can guarantee them a viral video. And then he'll be like, "Cool, I can get people on the phone. I can figure it out. Kay. He'll do it." I just want to talk to him on the phone. I want to talk to Target on the phone. But the reason you were brought in today is because I'm trying to audition for Your World today. This is my on tape. Oh, audition. that's so sweet. As long as that camera doesn't go out, I would consider this my on tape audition. What a nice, what a grandiose thing to think that you would ever have to do. Yeah, that's another thing I would. I would Everybody have to. has to audition. Yeah. I watched the episode of Friends recently where Joey had to audition for Dr. Drake Ramore's um, twin wow. brother. Okay, nice. you know that that's a TV show that he had to audition for. <clears throat> I'm sure. A TV show, uh, yeah. That's so funny that you remember the character's name. Dr. Drake Ramore on Let's hear Days it. of Our Lives. I'm excited. Um, do you want to get Joe in here, or is two out of the four of you guys okay? I don't We can't. Joe doesn't really. We're not ready for Joe. Yeah. Where's Lee? <laughs> Lee's dead. <laughs> Lee's dead. That's she passed. Can you slate before you do it? Yes. Can you say your name and what your agency is? Hey, my name's Mike Falzone. Um, Zoya will answer my phone if I give it to her. And I'm auditioning for Dr. Drake Ramore for, um, what's the name of the show? Your World Today. Your World Today. Are you okay shaving? No. Mm. Is that a, de- a deal breaker? Thanks for coming in. <laughs> just wanted on record. Thank you for coming in. I have to, can you uh, just tell the next person they can come in? Yeah. 
room what if full I left? Of, room and somebody could look like me without a, yeah. <laughs> without a beard. Okay, we don't are, need more beards on your world today. I just the, want to say that. These are three jokes. Drink some hydrating Gatorade. Are you okay with being sponsored by a children's drink if we do? If you do join I'm the sorry, show? I can't. I couldn't. <laughs> It's such a, I've never even, I haven't seen a child drink Gatorade. It sounded Gatorade. like somebody was playing a guitar really loud. <laughs> okay, these are three jokes I wrote for my audition tape. <clears throat> you know the backpack kid? <laughs> oh boy. You know the backpack kid? He made up the floss dance? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, backpack kid's mom is suing the makers of Fortnite. Uh, for using her son's signature dance, which is the same thing as making an uh, Instagram account for your dog. Because <laughs> she's trying to benefit from... Um, yeah. Okay. I like it. has nothing to do with her, but she's trying to cash. I like it. I like it a lot, yeah. Do you want me to explain them all? Ye- uh, Did that there's actually- only two more. No. Don't be, don't be startled by my silence. Okay. It's just I'm not used to hearing it after I tell a joke, so it, it throws it's me probably out. the mm. glucose yeah. levels due to the <laughs> children's drink. <laughs> I'll leave. Did you I will walk out. <laughs> I will. I'm. I, you have one more Gary Guys, joke. I have and I'm two more leaving. jokes. I have two more jokes. <laughs> You're not allowed to be this unfunny. Okay, Steve. all right. I have a, I have a pretzel. It's Elliot. offensive. Hey, relax. That's what you have to do when you're misbehaving. You have to have a pretzel. Add a little sodium into there. Get that. Get your trash away from me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have two more jokes. The floss dance is bullshit. It's over in two seconds. It takes me seven minutes to do the electric slide, and I've never paid a dime for that. That's fun. Do uh, you like that one? I didn't like it as much as the Instagram account. Same. You didn't like the... Yeah. Okay. Are you just doing variations But on it doesn't matter. You can sandwich a good one. You can sandwich the mediocre ones right between the really good ones. I was going to say Wait, it fast. Wait. People don't notice. Yeah. But are you... This is, this, is, this is another punchline to that setup. Is that what you're reading us? This is comedy is in threes. I'm sure I don't have to tell you that. Oh, so I see what I you're saying. Three yeah, that's not how the format, thing. that's not how the show goes. It's, it's usually just like, yeah. it's like set up, punchline, move on. So mm. these are just two options for my Exactly. Show. Have you seen the show? Have you watched the show? I've never watched the show. <laughs> okay. I was, uh, I was on it and I didn't, it was a choice. This is to his mom. A friend of mine was. This is to his mom. Your mom's going to get you typecast as the backpack kid for the rest of your life until you're a scoliosis man. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys need some time to talk it over? Big or big fan. Or <laughs> <laughs> big fan. <laughs> Until you're scoliosis man. Until you're scoliosis man. He uh that kid gets me upset with the way he looks, but um that's a me thing that I'm trying to get. Past. Well, Mike, um I think it's very funny that you do you have to hold it up? It contains no fruit juice. Of course not. It says nothing about being for children. How many grams of <coughs> sugar does it have? Let's see here. How many pounds of sugar does that drink? It has have? 45 milligrams of potassium, so might as well be. No, don't do the good stuff. That's that's like 21 grams two of bites sugar. of a banana. 21 grams. <laughs> 21 grams is... You it's, could a, ho- it's a sugary drink. You could hold that with two hands. Um, that's like drinking a liter of soda. <clears throat> um... I guess it is kind of a kid's drink. Yeah, hang out. J- you should hang out for it. Shouldn't he hang out? He should just hang out, right? It has lightning on if it. If you want to hang out, you should hang out. But I got to do some ad That's reads. because of the electrolytes. Let's do some ad reads. <laughs> oh, hang the out for the ad reads? <laughs> no, Absolutely no. And then, and then after, and we'll continue oh. talking to you. Okay. Have you ever listened to ad reads on this show? Because it's different. You don't have to be here. If you're gonna if you're gonna have that puss holiday puss on your face, mm-mm, you mm-mm. don't have to be here. This is a, a form of you you, you if you start. Wow. You see why I leave sometimes? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. <laughs> Which level of bibble bobble is this? <laughs> Elliot watched Elliot watched Joe and I play bobble bobble. We can talk about it a little bit. I loved it. I loved watching it. <clears throat> Delman was my favorite though, because he was just like, "I want to see him beat it." I want to go. We're at level night. We're in it now, <laughs> guys. <laughs> thank you to our sponsor, Squarespace. Uh, we, Mike and I, yeah, we've said this a billion times. We love Squarespace. I wouldn't be alive without it. They're one of our first sponsors and our longest running sponsors. We love them so much, and of course, we love them so much. Mike Falzone has a Squarespace website, MikeFalzone.com. If you want to see what uh, what that looks like, test me. You guys know all the things you can do to Squarespace. You can turn your cool idea into a new website. You can showcase your work, blog or publish content, sell products and services of all kinds. Is that dead bird? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. (laughs) 
you're saying is that a, is that dead bird and you, <laughs> and you just stop reading me <laughs> you like <laughs> now Squarespace also has beautiful templates created by world class designers there's powerful e-commerce functionality which, let, which lets you sell anything you want online it also has the ability to customize the look and feel settings products and more with just a few clicks and those analytics are built in so you can uh, see what's going on in real time are you selling stuff like sh this shit like if nothing's selling well those analytics will show you that and there's nothing to patch or upgrade ever, guys. You don't have to install anything. It's just it's just a, a web-based <laughs> piece of software. And <laughs> yes, we are fully having a fever dream. <laughs> Guys, and, and also, you can, ch and also, the, don't forget that 24 7 award winning customer support. Call them anytime, call them at 3 35 a.m. <laughs> and they'll be there to help you. So, are you ready to start your own business? Why don't you make it stand out and get started with Squarespace, guys? If you think it, dream it, you can make it with Squarespace. So, guys, go to squarespace.com slash banter for a free trial when you're ready to launch. Use the offer code BANTER to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash BANTER for a free trial. <laughs> Thank you so much to Squarespace. Thank you so much, Squarespace. Guys, I want to thank our sponsor, Robin Hood. Robin Hood, you guys, is an investing app that lets you buy and sell stocks, ETFs, options, and cryptos, all commission-free. You guys want to get in on that uh, Bitcoin? You can definitely use Robin Hood. Uh, basically, Elliot, you've used Robin Hood, right? I love it, yeah. Yeah, because Robin Hood's a Valley Folk sponsor, too. Yeah, uh, very fun. How much um, money have you made? Because I'm not afraid to put it all on the line and tell how many, how much money I've made. How um, much money my portfolio is worth. I think you have to spend money to make money, and let's just say I haven't spent a lot of money. <laughs> so okay. there's not a lot in there, and there's not a lot coming in. I'm going to go to Bragtown. Oh, really? $33.88. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's going to be a merry goddamn Christmas. Let's have a little dance for about it. I'm so hungry. Are we doing breakfast? Fuck yeah. You know, drinking a Gatorade is like eating 18 breakfasts. <laughs> Guys, how about the values of the Robin Hood app? What? Well, I'll tell you. How about this? Guys, you breakfasts. shut up. We're talking about Robin Hood. There's no cost or commission fees, guys. Other brokerages charge up to $10 for every trade, but Robin Hood doesn't charge commission fees, trade stocks, and keep all of your profits. That's really kind of the biggest deal. And in, in an app like this, and I, I think that's awesome that Robinhood does that. And it's easy to use, guys. Easy to understand charts and market data. Place a trade in just four taps on your smartphone. Robinhood's web platform also lets you view stock collections, like the 100 most popular sections, like entertainment, and social media, things like that. Female CEOs. So, guys, you can learn how to invest as well. If you don't know how to invest or anything about stocks, but you hear that it's people get into it and it's really cool and it could be very profitable and things like that this is the way to learn it is one way to learn for sure you can um, make 33 dollars if you want yeah and you can discover new stocks and track favorite companies with personalized news feeds right there in the app so guys robin hood is giving our listeners a free stock like apple ford or sprint to help build your portfolio so sign up at banter dot robin hood dot com that's banter dot robin hood dot com check it out can i give you your christmas gift now can i yeah, ask, let me get a at long least explain here. to you yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <clears throat> at one point i thought never mind i don't know how to do that because if i'm right at one point i think i remember you talking about this okay but that could also very easily never have taken place in which case, this will just be a random thing that you might like. I'm excited about this. So <clears throat> I'm very excited about it. 
Elliot has seen it. Really? Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> okay. If you tickle him, he'll probably tell you what it is. He likes when you grab him by the sides. Oh, no. yeah, no, he doesn't I'll like fucking that. Yeah. Well, I actually he will really leave and like not that. come back. Grab him by his phone. I haven't told anyone. If you start physically touching me, I, it, the, can I I'm tell? already tired if you can't tell, and you guys are pushing me to <laughs> the limit Can I tell the story? My, what did you do last night? Just got. I just stayed up late. Mm, just okay. not, yeah, just yeah, yeah, it's one of those you nights. Know, I, guess, yeah. I drink Gatorade when I stay up late sometimes, too. Um, So uh, it wasn't me What making, does that even mean? So it wasn't me making this. Sorry, sorry, see? Can I tell the story of what happened when we were in New York? Elliot, Elliot really doesn't. Oh like yeah, this is a to be part. to be inappropriately touched. No, I'm not a fan. And it's okay. And nobody, a lot of people don't. There's really nothing wrong with it. I'm not trying to give him shit about it or anything. It's so weird how many people don't like to be inappropriately touched. It is weird, but there, but uh, that's just me. <laughs> I love the disclaimer. It's, I guess, fine if you don't want to be inappropriately touched. Yeah, I mean, I'm just here to say it's fine. <laughs> I actually, a lot of times I don't mind, but you're not giving all the content. Right, right. Okay, so here's what's going on. It's like uh, every night at our Airbnb we were staying at for our Valley Folk Show in Brooklyn, New York, we would basically stay up until like four in the morning. Because it was, we were also still on LA time, so it was really like one, one yeah. in the morning, and that's usually around when I kind of go to sleep. Yeah, I don't it know made if sense. The same way. I, I feel like we were very good about staying. I on think the so same too. Clock, yeah. Yeah. So, um, but you know, it was weird when you're like doing stuff in New York the next day at a certain time. Then you're like, oh shit, I didn't get that much sleep. Especially but, those blackout curtains. Man. Right. <laughs> those blackout curtains were were wonderful. Um, but anyway, so one night we, uh, my friend Chelsea. She was out late with us at our show that night. It was very late, and she lives in Connecticut. Or she was staying with a friend somewhere in the city. But Brooklyn's so far away from the city, basically. Like, it's just so difficult to, like, get there. Anyway, long story short, my friend Chelsea stayed with us at our Airbnb. Thank you for throwing that goddamn trash. Elliot just killed a rat with that. Is that a dead bird? (laughs) Um, Anyway, so uh, my friend Chelsea stayed, and Elliot was staying in a room that had two beds in it. So I was like, Elliot, this is a cool Chelsea sleeps in your room, and Chelsea is a cool <laughs> The king sleeps. was in his quarters. <laughs> the king was in his quarters. And so everybody was cool with it, and so Chelsea and Alana and I were up late. <laughs> <laughs> and we were just reading. Yeah. And it had been about half an hour after we everyone else went to bed. And I think it was like maybe 4.30 in the morning, maybe even 5. And Chelsea was like, okay, I got to go to bed. And I was like, okay, cool. So then she's like, will you walk me into Elliot's room? Because I feel kind of like, you know, I don't want to intrude and freak him out or anything. Very unsafe. She told me about that. But we don't have to talk about that part. But anyway, so we brought funny joke. We brought uh, Chelsea That's down. That's a hilarious bit. We brought Chelsea down to, <laughs> I brought Chelsea down to your room. And then I opened the door quietly and she got into her bed. And I just want to make sure everything was fine. And then I go over to Elliot and he's turned on his side. Facing the wall, and I come. Some would say asleep. <laughs> dead asleep. As asleep as you can possibly be. Probably having a great dream. I think and, I was dreaming. And I decide to like crawl into his bed to like spoon him. Uh-huh. That was my plan. That was nice. <laughs> Just at five in the morning. And the second I lift the cover and try to step in, he wakes up, smacks my like shoulder, and goes, "No, no, 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 no! You're a terrible person, terrible yeah. person. You're terrible. Go get out of here. Fuck you. Go to bed." Go That's to a bed. man with clear boundaries. <laughs> and I was like, "Oh shit!" I was like, "Totally," because I knew in my mind there were only <clears throat> two ways it could have gone. <laughs> And and really, the one way was we do a fun little bit for a second. It's funny, whatever. Everyone goes to sleep. It's fine. Or n- Ellie did not want that at I all. I would have thought either what happens happened or there's full on it's love making. Oh, like we ended up making love? Yeah. Well, Nowhere in between. No. That wouldn't happen, but it would have been a bit. It would have been if I had been awake and you'd have crawled in. Yeah, maybe, exactly. There would have been maybe. But you some were not love. ready for that mm. in any way. <laughs> I just remember, like, it was like. It felt like um, I'm s- like a light sleeper. Like I knew where you were exactly in my hand. I just remember going directly on your chest as you were coming. Yeah, forward. yeah. <laughs> you were in. You were entering toward me, and I like stiff armed you basically, yeah. like a like a football player. Yeah, and I yeah. Was like, nope, fuck you. You're a bad person. Yeah, Get you're a bad person. <laughs> yeah. It was funny because it was like the normal, the way anyone would react and, to that moment. And also, you reacted perfectly by going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah, that's too much. Yeah, that's too much. I'm going to bed. Good night, everybody. He didn't like it. That's good. 
Uh, we all learned. And there was no, <laughs> no hard feelings either no, way. No, it was no, no. a fun story. It was very fun. All right, Mike, you want to you wanna do this present situation? Yeah, man. <clears throat> Let's do it, baby boy. Oh, let me put on the Christmas music. Oh, oh yeah. charge the battery. I'm going to charge your battery, baby boy. <laughs> it said the name of the music uh, company. Merry Christmas on your calendar. Oops. Come on, man. <laughs> what the fuck? Why would you do that? Oh, yeah. Is it a calendar? Did you give me a calendar? Shh, shh, shh. What if I did that? What if I ruined? I I mean, Ellie, Christmas presents. Mike would what be. What if you said exactly what it was? I uh, couldn't if I wanted to. I, I can't remember the exact. But I'm excited. I'm excited to see this. Merry Christmas. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, man. So this is something. The one I got you, by the way, isn't wrapped because I don't like wrapping paper. That's bringing too much of you into Christmas. I'm just. I would just like to. What I would like to have. I, I don't would like even to give. want it if it's not wrapped. <laughs> Because that's not what. <laughs> so mm-hmm. take it back, Elliot. Yeah, thank you. I'm with I'm with Mike on this one, Steve. Something I present to you, something I think you talked about once. <laughs> <laughs> and isn't that what friendship is? I think so. I think so too. That's every one of our conversations that starts with you remember. Yeah. Is so this in I present form. I do want to say that the only thing written on here <laughs> is wrapped by Zoya. Yeah, <laughs> she wow, needed. That's so funny. I said, why did you write that? And she she, she whispers credit. she goes because sometimes she gotta let him know. Yeah, That's I you know what I miss Zoya so much. I could see her beautiful smile right yeah. now. She's great, and she's such a wonderful <laughs> woman. And I and I want to thank her for this rapping job. I think Zoya's presence is wasted everywhere else. Yes, yeah. Zoya's yeah. one of those people where she who's shouldn't like have to go to work. Insanely talented and should not be mm. doing what she's doing. Yeah, I, I have wish too many friends like that. I was more successful, so Zoya. Didn't have to work. Yeah, Zoe is the kind of person you definitely want to take care of. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they'll take care of you and so good right back. Yeah, that's why it hurts when Elliot doesn't laugh at my jokes because I need to be making this money for her. Mike Falzone. Am I right oh, cool. or am I not? Holy right? shit! That's so cool. Can this? Nope, that's been out for some time. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, Mike! Oh my god! Did we or did we not talk about? We this totally once? talked about. This. Didn't you really say good. that you didn't? This like went away from you had this, but it went away. Or I want. I had a lot of really cool records that suddenly disappeared when my wife and I separated. <laughs> and this is definitely one of the things. Oh, good. Oh my god. The artwork is beautiful. It's beautiful. Explain it, what it is, because I don't know. Sorry, what it is. I'm sorry. It is. <laughs> it's a original Haunted Mansion record. It's the story and the song from Haunted Mansion. It's the story too. It's like, an 11 book page form? book. Yeah. Oh, of, I didn't realize that. Yeah, and that's super super rad. And of course, it has grim grinning ghosts on it, which Thank is you. just one of the greatest songs of all time. I put it up there with Let It Be and uh, and simply having a one. Simply having. Did Zoya rap this? Zoya, wrap that because sometimes you gotta let them know. Thank you, Mike. This is a wonderful gift. I hope that you enjoy. I saw that a while ago, and I was like, "How am I supposed to not give this Dude, to you?" Dude, this is this is how, this is how I feel about about this gift I'm about to give you too. I saw it, and I was like, "Mike needs this." Okay. Oh, what a gift. Thank you, dude. It's so cool, man. I've been Way meaning to, to fire up my record player again, too. It's been kind of like inop- inoperable lately, yeah. well, but go. only because all the other entertainment has been swallowing my time. Dude, I also have a record player for The Office if you guys ever want to. <gasps> Ooh, that's not a bad idea. I tried to give it to you guys at the beginning, and you guys were like, there's too much stuff. Yeah. Which is code for, you know, like the record player. Um... All right, well, while we wait for Alana, uh, we shouldn't do a history row. This has been a long episode. Should or shouldn't? Mm. Should not? We should not. Have there Has there ever been an episode where we haven't? Of course. There's been many an episode. I, th- I feel like I've been on an episode where you haven't done yeah. a history row. That <laughs> might have been my fault, actually. <clears throat> um, I'll, Let me see. Let me just look through here. There's like, okay, let's do this real quick one. How about that? Okay. Turtle dove. Oh, it is wrapped, Steve, in a shawl. What? It's wrapped in a oh, shawl. Oh shit! She wrapped it. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're a sweetheart. <laughs> oh, okay. Here, give me this. Yeah. 
All right, buddy. Oh, is it an art? Y- yes, it's a piece of art. It's so, like an art. Elliot, you should pay attention to this. This is I'm a sorry. gift that. Uh, I was checking into my flight. I apologize. That's okay. Oh, you were looking at your penis for a minute? <laughs> what are you over there drinking Gatorade? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry we made you so Yeah, this is miserable. <laughs> I fucking hate this. No, you're at a great time, and don't even lie this about it. It's a horrible experience. We're going to treat you like Angel after this. After this, we're going to go to the alley it's and have a nice funny. night. We're I'm going go to buy Elliot pancakes. Everyone thinks it's funny, but you. <laughs> so here's what we're going to do. Yeah, lots I'm going to give you. Yeah, the audience is going to love it. And so they're going to put it on the bits list. And so, Mike. I was at DesignerCon, DCon, and that? and it was just an it was an event where designers, local artisans, and just amazing artists come together and they share they sell their stuff that they sure. just make hand make themselves, yeah. and it's really one of the most impressive things you could see. It's just like really just imagine the most talented creative artists making toys and uh-huh. posters and like really cool. F- Stuffed animals and shirts and clothing. And That's stuff how like I that. imagine the North Pole. Dude, if the North Pole was like that, I would move there tomorrow. Okay. Um, but anyway, Decon, Designer Con is really cool. I recommend you go there. And this, I saw this at someone's booth and I thought of you. Thank you. And uh, I, think you, I think you should probably just slip it out of the top. I want to open it like a present, Steve. <clears throat> Look at that line forming for those free big gulps out there. Already. Is there a line forming? Yeah, uh, I, I'm really. It looks really cool out yeah. there. Is that where? Bre- Holy shit! This is awesome. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! This is awesome. So it's that classic. What is it? Japanese? The Japanese photo image of the waves. It's the one that we all should know the name. We of, all but should we don't. know. Elliot, do you know what the art oh, is with very the waves? Cool. It's like a no. That's like the. It's uh, like Pinkerton, a Japanese. Uh, the Weezer Pinkerton. Uh, yeah, but wave. it's like. But, yeah, hang it's on, Japanese, let me see. Yeah. Let me, let's actually. We should find out what it actually is. Um, Japanese wave painting. I don't think that's going to... Um... Yeah, it's called The Great Wave <laughs> off Kanagawa. Cool, cool. There's an emoji about it. It's also known as The Great Wave or simply The Wave. That's how you know how good it simply is. Simply having The Wave. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a woodblock print by the Japanese ukiyo-e artist Hokusai-san. <laughs> Perfect. It, it was published sometime between 1829 and 1833 in the late Edo period as the first print in Hokusai's series, 36 Views of Mount Fuji. It is Hokusai's most famous work and one of the most recognizable works of Japanese art in the world. And in this version, the macho man Randy Savage <laughs> is surfing is on it. Is surfing on it. In this version, <laughs> the original... And this is actually what the original is like. Yeah. This is going to be, there's a spot in my office and uh, Mike in the morning set yeah. that this is uh, perfect for. I hope you this keep is so it. Thought- you guys gave great presents. I know. We this really did. Beautiful. It's like stuff it's that's meaningful. Be- yeah, Dude, and this so is after sweet. six months of not seeing each other outside. Yeah. Of yeah. And basically not room. being friends for too long. We put our whole friendship on hold. We and did. And boy, did Reddit let us know it. Yes, they did. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're goddamn back. Now we're back, baby, and it year, feels we're good. Best friends again. And we got a great episode where we make fun of Elliot for over twenty minutes. Uh, that, yeah. I know that um, you didn't have a good time, but some of those. I'm glad you know that. Some of the zingers. I'm glad I've made that clear. <laughs> I'm. What I'm worried about is the fact that you didn't understand how funny most of that was. Yeah. Uh, and I'm worried I about mean, your comic sensibility because I just think that you're you're not having a great morning so far just tired i am truly just tired yeah and i think and i understand that and i'm seeing this from an empathetic position and i understand that uh that amount of goofing and uh at your expense while you're not feeling particularly great and are tired doesn't feel good i appreciate your understanding yeah yeah and i did appreciate many of the zingers but of course you know we love love, you and i love you guys and we're all very loving which is why we can be so truthful and honest with each other when i want nothing to do with uh, your podcast, right? We exactly. Get, we get yeah. that, and that's why I have every right to call you up for having a children's drink. <laughs> and I'm out. In the okay, well, Gatorade's a children's drink is all I want to say about it. So you don't have to. <laughs> this is Ben. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, thank you so much for listening to this episode of Dynamic Banter. Thank you, Mike. Merry Christmas to you. Merry 
And uh, yeah, this is the last episode before Christmas. So Merry Christmas. And uh, yeah, this is the last episode before Christmas. So Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to everyone. Thank you, Alana. Thank you, Alana. And also Hanukkah. Happy past, I said happy holidays. Past Hanukkah. I said happy holidays. No, you hate Jewish people. Yes, but I also said happy holidays. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for listening. We love you. We cherish you. Thank you for listening through. How many Christmases is this? All now, of like them. three, maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for Two. all of that. Thank you for a great year. Um, you guys are wonderful. Yeah, you guys are the best gift we can get for Christmas from you because <laughs> you listen to this garbage. And um, you know what would be a great gift if you if you have the time? And it's really easy. Just go to iTunes and um, go to the dynamic banter section in the podcasts area on mm -hmm. iTunes and just give us a star rating for whatever you think is appropriate and just type something. Just say, love the show yeah. or, you know, thanks for this or whatever. Just type one word. Mm -hmm. But it helps us a lot had a when big you. Had a problem with such a Yeah, had a episode. problem. Yeah, whatever you want to say. If you give us zero stars and you say, I hate the show, that's fine. But the more engagement you guys have on iTunes, it kind of matters because then we get on lists yeah. and then we can also use that. Also, our YouTube channel that Sarah's working hard. Absolutely, on. Sarah, yeah. our editor has been. If she didn't quit after I gave her three quit. cameras set up. Yeah, we have quite a bit more footage this time around. But we're um, almost done. Sorry, we're saying goodbye right now. Sorry. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. We're gonna um, drink out of tiny straws after. But this. anyway, um, yeah, I just want to say, Sarah, thank you so much. She's working very hard on this YouTube channel that. Mike and I are trying to build up together. Mike is putting in a lot of work into it as well. And it's just uh, youtube.com slash dynamic banter. And uh, yes, please subscribe. You don't have to do anything other than that. Just subscribe. We're asking very little, I think. And uh, Basically, we... just subscribe. Just subscribe. And... Thank you so much, everybody. We love you. Happy holidays. And have a great Merry Christmas time. Pernini, a friend, and my uncle. That was a HeadGum Podcast.